Hello viewers, I am very happy to see you again in this chapter. So, this chapter name is Frequency Distribution Tables and Graphs. So, please watch the till the end of the video and watch the remaining videos also. So, we have completed all the chapters in 8th, 6th, 7th and 9th, 10th also. Please subscribe. So, without wasting your time, we will start our exercise. That is first question. What is that is? Find the arithmetic mean of the sales per day in a fair price shop in a week. So what is that arithmetic mean? So actually arithmetic mean or average. So let's take. So average arithmetic mean. mean all are same all are same so that is if you calculating average that is called arithmetic mean if you calculated simple mean that is also arithmetic mean or average whatever it is so before going to that we should know what is arithmetic mean formula so arithmetic mean will be equal to observations by number of observations number of observations so how many observations are there that is number some means we need to add so let's take some of observations will be we are going to give summation symbol like this so we are going to represent summation x i by capital N. So this is number of observations x i means it will give 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 etc like that. So that is the this is called summation. We need to pronounce like summation. So summation of x i by N. So that is x may varies let's take i values from so it likes x1 plus x2 plus x3 dot 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 plus x i by capital N. So this is the formula. So let's start our problem. So price sales per day in a fair price shop. So what is that? So what is the prices price shop? So a fair price a fair price price shop in a week in a week per day so what is that what are the observations so that one will be so let's take 10 thousands comma 10,250 comma 10,790 comma 9,865 comma 15,350 and 10,000 one ten. So what we have to do is let's find average that is total observations how many so number of observations or total observations or total cast or total prices one two three four five six so six so find average or arithmetic mean average will be equal to summation of xi by n so here summation of how many are there x1 plus x2 plus like that so 10 thousands plus 10,250 plus 10,790 plus 9,865 plus 15,350 plus 10,110 whole divided with what you have to write 6 the number will be 6 so like that we need to write so if you add all these things you will get if you add all these values we will get 66,365 by 6 so calculate with 6 so 6 ones are then 6 ones are 6 ones are then 36 will come that one we need to put 0 
again 6 6 is 36 then 5 will come so so 36 5 will come in order to put 5 so what you will get 365 by 6 so what you will get 11060 so it will be 5 means put 0 then it will come so point 83 so what is the average fire price that is 11060 that is 11000 point 11060 point 83 Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. In this module, we are going to discuss that is second one. Find the mean of the data. And they are given some values. So mean is nothing but mean or average or arithmetic mean. All are same. Arithmetic mean. All are same. So what observations they are given here? So observatory values, so data values, write data values, 10.25, comma 9, comma 4.75, comma 8, comma 2.65, comma 12, comma 2.35. So what is meant by mean? Mean will be equal to sum of observations by sum of observations by number of observations number of observations you can write like formula that is equal to summation of xi by n so here mean we have to calculate that is so summation of xi by n will be equal to so add all that values 10.25 plus 9 plus 4.75 plus 8 plus 2.65 plus 12 plus 2.35 whole divided by how many are there given 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 observations they are given so what is that summation we have to know so what is that is so let's find 10.25 plus 9 plus 19.25 plus 4.75 will be that is 24 24 plus 8 plus 2.65 plus 12 plus then 2.35 12 plus 2.35 what you will get here is 49. So 49 by 7, 7 ones are 7, 7 are. So what? 7. So that is the value. So thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. So our next question is mean of 8 observations is 25. If one observation 11 is excluded, find the mean of the remaining. So mean of 8 observations is 25 that is here 8 11 is excluded excluded means removed then what is the mean of remaining that is remaining means 7 observations mean we have to calculate so first one what is the given write that one mean of 8 observations will be equal to 25 that is 8 observations means sum of 8 observations by number of observations is 8 that will be equal to 25 that implies sum of so what you can write sum of 8 observations will be equal to 25 into 8 so 8 is a 40 then 8 to the 16 then 20 so sum of observations 8 observations is 200 then what you can take it as so one is excluded so one observation is removed one observation is removed that value is 11 so observatory value is equals to 
11. So one value is removed. That is, what you can take is now sum of 7 observations will be equal to sum of 8 observations minus 1 observation removed that is 11 that is 200 minus 11 what you will get 189 so 189 so actually so 189 we got then average average of remaining or mean will be equal to that is you can take it as x bar mean will be represented as x bar so x bar will be equal to summation of x i by n so what is i here 7 that is sum of 7 observations by number of observations that is 7 so 189 by 7 so what you can take here is 7 ones are 7 twos are 14 then 7 sevens are 49 so what you are getting 27 finally x bar will be equal to 27 so average of 7 observations is 27 like this we need to solve thanks for watching please subscribe